Black Mesa. Here we go. So, this is Zen. It's going to blow your mind. And probably blow my computer up. Well, I've completed it before, so probably not. Although I'm recording, so, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Well, let's get on with the chase. Zen is really long. This may or may not be a double chapter episode. I really could not tell you. Um, the first Zen level is really, really long. Like, it took me about, like, two hours to do the first time. Sometimes it's taken me longer, sometimes it's taken me shorter. If I can complete it in under an hour and 30 minutes, then we'll do... We'll do at least some of Gonark Lair, because Gonark Lair is really good in this game. Oh, you have to be fucking kidding me. I forgot I had long jump module. So this first part is already incredibly difficult. You have to do these really specific jumps. No, 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 wait, that's the secret route. <laughs> Sorry, I mistook it for something else. You have to go this way, not... You don't have to do those crazy jumps, although you can if you want to. This is one of the old survey team members that that scientist talked about. This is a random bubble, and I like popping random bubbles. But yeah. He is dead. He left some supplies behind. But look at everything. Wow. Even on, like, replays, this part is so good. Could make him fall off like that. It's rather cruel, but funny. So, yeah, this is. Fuck, man, this is Zen. Oh, that's dead. So, yeah, this is... 
thank god. And there it is, the long jump is completely immune to falling. If you fall with the long jump, you don't die. gonna want to listen to that. I like how Zen Black Mesa has implementation of, like, listening carefully for sound cues. This is a health pool. I theorize that the way that they get their health packs is that the survey team goes to Zen collect some of this stuff, and that is used as a healing material. There is, I mean, it could be like a really good lore reason as to why that stuff exists. Alright, I don't need to reload, I guess. Landing jets, it says at the bottom. Uh oh. Yeah, if this was in VR, I really could not play it. Like, jumping. Oh, God. Wow. For some reason, Zen works a little better with the flashlight because every because it actually flashes the surface. So yeah, that's what the listening cues I told you about were for. Uh, you want to be. Very, very, very careful. What the? Ooh, a crystal. These Zen crystals are really good, but if you're not careful enough, you won't hear hound eyes, and there are lots of hound eyes in this chapter. Uh, this and the Godark Slayer. It makes it really kinda scary. got stuck at the ground for a second. So now that we're here, we have enough oomph to just barely make this series of jumps. We've also got a teleporter. And a zen turret. I don't know what those are or if they were the original Half-Life. Oh wait, they were. They were those weird... These are also crystals that conduct electricity. Probably good for the HEV suit, considering it just went back up to 100 after I touched them. I don't know what these are or why they're here, but I like them. They look good. But goddamn if Zen isn't beautiful in Black Mesa. Oh, 
I used that to kill the particle, but... This actually kind of looks good for Matt Fulbright. Like, don't get me wrong or ask me how, it just kind of does. You can kill him with the glue on gun. It does a kind of good job. It's a little bit wasteful of ammo, though, I might add, so... Whatever, it's a good idea because I did it. Yeah, there are a lot of barnacles in Zen Black Mesa. needs electricity. Let's give it that. He's dead. Oh, listen to that. Enemy. A very good one, too. Dead. So, yeah, this is. Where, 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 where? There you are. That's just a normal scientist. Probably teleported into Zen. Uh, where do I go? Um, and oranges and lemons. That guy survive an explosive. But yeah, now the flashlight works like a real flashlight, so that is good. It only took them, like, until one of the, like, insanely late chapters of the game to figure that out. I'm sorry. I mean, in other videos it works just fine, but in mine it doesn't. Maybe it's a skill issue? Where? There you are. That is a cyanogen gas tank. You're going to want to keep it with you for the rest of the game, or for at least until Godark later, if you want to do something cool. But I won't, because 
I want to show you how to do it right. It's not a dead end, thank God. Where is it? Where is the... Oh, wrong plug. So yeah, this is uh, Zed. Also, there's a little bit of lore as to why ad lines don't appear in Half-Life 1. Um, I just felt like sharing some interesting uh, Zen history. Ant lions are Zenian, except they are a lot more underground. Every single creature in this game, like bull squids, head crabs, Uh, for the gods seem to have a extra set of legs like those are Zen explosives I don't know what those are but they always seem to have an extra set of legs uh, the island is one of those actually funnily enough um, obviously alien controllers it's a lot of stuff but Main point is um, I theorize that because ant lions, but all of those creatures, I meant to say, seem to have like an extra set of legs, or they seem to have at least one or two legs. They have, they, whatever. So they have two legs, or sets of legs, and then they have an extra, like, sort of frontal anterior thing. Um, like the controller, the dialynth, the bull squid, and the, you know. But the ant lions do not seem to have that, and my guess is the ant lions are a different species of race X. Or I meant there are different species of Zed. Oh, also, you can kill these little bitches now, I think. I, at least I thought you could. Uh... You can! This little idiot just wasn't acting up on me. I don't... Maybe I killed him faster than I should've, but whatever. So, here are these little Zen lily pads. They can't hold the weight of Gordon Freeman, so don't step on them for too long. <laughs> or you'll sink into the water below. But yeah, my theory is that ant lions, not only being like an underground species, were not, like, Vordal or something. 
and therefore die. And therefore didn't really have the teleporting or something. My theory is that those were the more teleporting creatures. Um, the three-legged ones. And since ant lions do not seem to be those, and also seem to be like underground living in caves, that they were absent from Half-Life. Chances are the Vorts were underground doing their ant lion stuff in Zen, but... I don't know, what do you think is the reason for ant lions not appearing in... You know. Because it's true, as that Vortigaunt says in episode 2, that... Um, the Vortigaunts always had an ancestral practice of, like, ant lion husbandry, and ancestral leads me to believe that ant lions have always been on Zen. And it's just a matter of, like, where, or, oh my god, I didn't see that guy, but. Sorry, I should have been a lot carefuler. Like that. But, I mean, I'd really love to hear somebody else's theory as to why the, uh, where is that bull squid? Uh, why is that bull squid, I should ask? Two down, there's a third one for some reason. Three grenades, three victims. And a real piece of shit, too. Two shells, one victim. Whatever. I'm not a mathematician, but I'd say that that was fair. Wow, it is dark in these caves. I actually don't know if I want to... Yeah. Here it is. You get health. Oh my god, I didn't see him. Oh my god. I swear they're everywhere. Where was that crystal? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, see, this flashlight actually helps me see in this dark place. Here are these tentacles that are apparently, like... I don't know, but maybe there's a host in there that, like, prevents these from opening up. And you, as Gordon Freeman, has to kill that host with a crowbar or a hound eye shot. Or how hive hound. That hound eye was about to kill me because I made the mistake of saying hound eye instead of hive hand. Is there a lore reason as for that? Whatever. Uh, yeah, you can see that we are at very high amounts of health. We're gonna need health and such for this entire playthrough. Um. Wow, it is really beautiful. I love Black Mesa. So kill the host. Uh, and just barely make this jump. Or maybe just actually kind of make it a little better than just barely. Fall down the hole. Kill these little bubbles. Apparently they're sentient, but I don't like that. 
and they're not sentient if they're dead. These are the TMT hound eyes. They do that. Luckily, their explosion, their explosions are not too deadly. Oh, Jesus! Yes, they fucking are, Jesus. Oh, no, no, don't unnecessarily jump like that. You could get yourself killed. So normal hound eyes and explosive hound eyes make the same amount of noise. You do not have to worry about mistaking one for the other or whatever. So, uh, this water's too shallow for the ichthyosaur, don't worry guys. How do I know that? Because I studied it! Huh. Oh, here it is. And a lot of those goddamn bubbles. Yes, we just killed the host, as I say. Oh! Sweet Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, that was really unnecessary. No, that was necessary. Woo! These are Zen trampolines. They're really fun. Where? Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah! So blow that up. And you get your Zen crystal. Right here. Throw it over that fence and find a way out. I need to see where it is. There's no way. It... Wow. Okay, good. That was lucky, though, because... Alright, run into that teleporter before more hound dies come. Which they don't, actually. I made that mistake. Whatever. So normally when I really need to jump, I just double tap. I can't do that when there's... See, look how close I was. I have to really hope there's another platform to prevent me from doing that. What the fuck happened? So... You can sneak past how dies. There will be some sleeping. They didn't wake up. See? Pacifism, boys. I tell you, it's useful. Oh, it's so blue. I like that. So, yeah, there's more hound eye AI, they actually listen, which is a really freaking great change. Um, you can sneak past hound eyes. Now, they don't pose as much of a threat as they usually do, and boy do they pose that threat. Fucking Christ. Uh, 
but if you're careful enough, you can make it so that they literally pose zero threat at all. We also have this huge puzzle section, which I'm not particularly a fan of, but... Because I've been saying so much positive about Black Mesa, it's basically a fart in the wind, my disliking of this segment. So you have to open up all of these giant leaves and go into each uh, tunnel where there is a tendril. And my god, it is a really stupid part. I'm not even sure you can... Hold on. I'm not even sure you can, like, drop a satchel charge down there to, you know, clear it up. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try that. Ah, man, you can't clear it up. Well, don't that be all. Let's go back down then. And you're going to have to be especially sneaky for this one. Not, like, in terms of dodging these, but... Just moments later, there will be hound eyes that... Will try to kill you if you wake them up. Also, this is nowhere near as hard as that surface tension sneaky part. So... It's better. It's also not like it in the way that a singular slip-up means that the whole place blows up. I've had times in which I was, like, not too far from, like, in which I was not too close to an explosive, and I ended up surviving. Also, kill those head crabs fast. Don't miss a shot. If you shoot that... Let me just try this. Yep, they're single shot. So, I was lucky to n not miss a shot on that head crab. To be honest, who even set this up? Were the Vortigons trying to troll us or some shit? Those are how dies, don't wake them up. Maybe if I do this, I can prevent it from being a problem, but... That was a bad idea. I have to not do that. 
I also didn't even know that was over there. That does not wake up the hound eyes. And yeah, go ahead and be reckless because the hound eyes are no longer able to kill us. Doesn't this feel exciting, guys? So, that is one puzzle down. This is the ultimate one where you will want to go when you're done with every other puzzle. Here is another tendril that I see. What are you guys doing down there? Let's just kill some of the guys down there. I guess I'm in the middle. But yeah, let's go follow this other tendril. Run faster than that bull squid can spit at you. And that's easier done than said. Because when I say it, it sounds a lot scarier and harder. Uh oh. I correct myself, it is a little bit hard. Well, that's kind of because I was walking. Don't waste your crossbow ammo. You'll need it for this entire section. What the fuck? Is he trying to tell me that he does not approve of the crossbow shots by shaking his head? He's dead. Alright, I've missed this jump on multiple occasions. Well, not this occasion. Okay. That guy is not a hazard. You could actually run past him quite fast, I might add, but... Boom, we've killed yet another host. I guess as I like to say. And somehow Gordon Freeman's fat-ass body cannot fit through this big hole. Is there a lore reason as to why Gordon can't fit through that hole? Oh, I clipped through that. You have to be kidding me. That is... Chicanery. Okay, buddy. That joke wasn't even half as good as I expected it to be. It was twice as good. This is another red tendril, guys. Maybe if we kill the host there. I guess it doesn't work that way, right? Back to normal, see. Uh, I, I've missed this jump just as many times, too. Done. Uh, right. Loading. No, no, no. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm stuck. I have to blow myself up to get out of this. No, no, no. I'm fine. It was the snark that got me stuck. Tony Snark. The Walter White Jr.'s favorite superhero. Did I kill him? Yep. Oh, thank you, head crab. So you have this long area. This is a part of the puzzle that I actually do like.
Don't worry about that cheeky little head crab. Jeez! That was lucky. You like that little yeah. That would be a good one to play on Rock Band. That's my brother. You could let that guy catch you in his tongue. You could also not do that. But at least this tendril takes a lot less time to run across if you've been killing every barnacle along the way. Trains and automobiles. Sorry, guys, I'm talking about the best movie ever made. turret. We meet a new enemy. Get this guy. What the fuck happened? Okay. That is a super hound I... I don't know if it has a name. Or if I've ever given it a name. Um, we'll call it as in, uh, Bad Cop 3, 3560's words. Um, an interdimensional pain in the ass. Right, a rocket launcher, the best way to kill it. There are other missing survey team members in here as well. Because, you know, oh my god, a pain in the ass it really is. Never been so frustrated with an enemy in any video game. Stop exploding things. You're not an explosive hound eye. That's their job. Sure, you're a hound eye, but that does not count as explosive. I don't know if I have to go down this stream or somewhere else. Yep. Somewhere else it is. Uh oh. Uh-oh, out of the water. There are too many ichthyosaurs for me to give a shit about killing them all. And for me to instead just give a shit about not dying. Get up here! Ah.
Yes, they bumped into each other. That was really lucky. You don't... I don't know if you're gonna get that on your first playthrough. Nobody. I don't know if anybody's been watching my playthroughs. Some people have watched my videos, actually. I've confirmed that. Um, I've gotten positive repetition on some of them, believe it or not. But other than that, my videos aren't really popular or even remotely watched or watchable. Whatever. Uh, let's uh, l let's continue our journey, people. We're already halfway done with this long-lasting chapter. That's right. In order to, you know, understand track of time in this, you know, long level, I actually marked where the middle map is. And it is this one. There are some loading zones, but... I'm not counting the loading zones that are closer to each other than, um, you know, the distance between, I don't know. If the loading zones are really close to each other and they connect back to a certain area, then I don't consider them separate. So those are underwater barnacles. I made a circle around. What do I have to do for this part? Uh oh, before the fucking gargantua. So, that is the end of the level in sight. We're not there yet, but we will be soon. So this is how the science team helps us out. By teleporting goods like rockets and lots of stuff. That entire quote-unquote biggest military supplement this side of the Rio Grande guy um, still has a lot of supplies left, so he's teleporting them all to me. And besides, a lot of this is kind of grave robbing because it was from the other survey team members originally. But fuck them, they're dead. Uh, don't get caught by these guys because most of your guns don't work underwater. Those that do probably really suck, so. How did it take me a pistol to do it? Do whatever it takes to get that ichthyosaur off your ass. Also, jump to prevent it from losing its weight too fast. Not off the thing, Gordon. Did you know that you can complete the entire chapter of We've Got Hostiles and forget about Freeman without killing a singular military guy? It's true. I did actually try this on my own once. Didn't go as planned. It was difficult, for sure. But very much possible. 
So if you want to try it, you're welcome to. What? Why can't I shoot through it? How do I get rid of it? What is the... Okay, this is bullshit. Invisible wall keeping me from going to the other side. That's... That's worse than Hunt Down the Freeman, and it's, you know... Okay, no, nothing about this game is worse than Hunt Down the Freeman. Not even Half-Life Source is as bad as that. Like... Even, like, everyone inside the development team says that the game sucked. And they, they didn't want to work on it. So, normally for this part you'll have to kill a bunch of hound dies, blah blah blah, murder, murder, murder. Well, I guess sometimes murder is not the right idea, and, you know, you just have to fucking run for your life, otherwise you're gonna die. Never mind, they're dying anyway. Yes. Illegal murder prevails. Alright, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's kind of why maybe murder is the right idea. Because those hound eyes will blast you off with their sonic damage. And I don't know where the fuck I'm going in this part of the level, so... Jesus. Jesus, Murray. Music playing as I'm just getting bodied by all these hound guys is fucking comical. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hound guys can't slip through these cracks. Anyway, now that I've already seen where I am going. They are gods. Very small god, but they are gods. Now maybe I'm glad that Valve didn't bring him back for Half-Life 2. Alright, save here because this jump is easy to fuck up. Unless you're me, and in which case I am cool. So this is the final part of the level, or it's around that, I guess, that would be great. Probably like those combine force fields that only combine are allowed through. Oh, you can kill him with crowbar.
So you have all of this stuff to turn on, and we're supposed to power a portal to go to Zet. Or to go to the Nile Land. This is all combine technology, I must tell you. So now we have to go back downstairs and figure out how to get the power running. Turn on all three of those crystals. Be careful, don't do that. That also shows how the Residence Cascade had a lot more effects than just teleporting aliens in. It flooded it with Zen energy. Changed a lot of stuff, like atmospheric pressure, you know, scientific proof, you know, all of that stuff. So I think it's one of these. This is the one. Don't know why it's that one, but whatever. So we turned on the first one. Uh, we got a crystal. And then we have to bring this crystal right here. Here it is. One of these is active. Uh, the second one caused me so much trouble on my first playthrough because it confused me. And I fucking died. I'm at least shooting a rocket to look cool as I fall to death. Alright, don't be mistaken. There is actually a branch here that can kill you. Clear? No, 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 no. Ooh, careful there. I mean, this obviously isn't a Valve game, so somebody must not really know too much about making invisible walls work. I guess not their fault, because, you know... Valve knows the source engine most. Or at least I hope they know the source engine works or how it works. So go over here, uh, shoot that, and run. You can lock that crystal out. You can jump up and go here. Ah, crap. There we go. I don't know what I do for this part. I think I go through here, and since that Zen Thingy is open. Uh, anyone else think I'm going the wrong way and I'm about to die? Nope, nope, nope. This is the right way. There are lasers. Not that that's actually a good thing, though. I kind of want there to be less lasers. So this part, uh, oh, what do I say about this part? This part really confused me because... Everything.
So put a satchel charge in here, and as you can see from this force field, nobody is going to die by a satchel charge. So now we have a Zen crystal, and we also have to blow up all this stuff outside. Just gonna put it into here. But yeah, I never even would have guessed in a trillion years that. Oh god damn it. Yeah, these cables are a little faulty sometimes, but they work in some way. Could you believe that I actually played Black Mesa before I played the real Half-Life or Black, or I meant uh, Half-Life 2? Yes, I... I seemed to notice in Half-Life 2 a lot of this stuff, like the physics, the scrolling for weapons, um, you know, uh, plugging stuff in, all of that. I learned about all that, um, and I thought, like, hey, this looks a lot like Half-Life 2 when I played this game, or this looks a lot like Black Mesa when I played Half-Life 2. Um, I'll admit, kind of dumb, but nevertheless, I got the experience of playing Half-Life 2, and I freaking loved it. I knew that this game was a redux, but obviously through my playthrough you've seen that I played the original Half-Life. Uh, I'm a little bit glad that I got to play Black Mesa first, you know, to prepare myself for the Source Engine shenanigans. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have been able to take in Half-Life 2 as easily. Or it really would have confused me more, but... Whatever. Safe to say I enjoyed both games. What do I do for this part? Am I missing something? Am I not looking in the right places or No, never mind, I figured it out. This way, or no, 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 this way.
maybe I do this. Alternate power source. Why not science it? Now we've fully powered it up, we just have to give it a jolt. Lasers? Huh, no lasers today. That's disappointing. Start this, jolt it. It's already created enough energy to have some sort of science blah 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 stuff, so now we have an actual portal open up. Alright, Nihilinth, I'm going to kick your ass. I still cannot see where I'm going. Let me see where I'm going. Ugh! Okay, not full bright water in this game is not my friend. Although the sky actually looks really cool with Matt Fulbright on. So, let me see this. Uh, how long have I been recording? An hour and eight minutes. Okay, let's do Godark Slayer then. So, we have to turn all this stuff on. Uh, I suggest we start with the one on that island over there. It's turned on. Uh, start with that one because, yeah. I don't know. You'll wonder why it's telling you how to long jump so much. Guess it's just a phenomenon that occurs. So, this is the portal to the Nihilans. Let's go take it. Nihilans, here we come. Uh-oh. That's not an island. That's a fucking... Uh-oh. Fuck. This is the Galdark, and it is terrifying in Black Mesa. That's why. He just flings wood at you like that. Would you believe his manners? Oh, shit. Maybe I can grenade him like speedrunners do. Fucking Christ.
Nope, nope, nope. I have to fight him normally. I can't just go to that health pool. He'll... What happened? All right, Miss... Ruth Younger. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. All right, I have to go get health, even though it's... Wow. What actually killed me there? There's no way that he spat on me that fast. You are a tyrant. I'm gonna want, like, a surface like this so that he can't get to you as fast. See? Like that, I was able to dodge the giant piece of wood he sent flying after me. Or is it she? I don't know, I'll just call it... They seems a little interesting. Actually, they is a good one because there's like head crabs inside of that, like the baby head crabs waiting to be given birth to. So, how about I call it uh, that? I don't know. She's still here. They're all still here. Stop trying. I have rockets. You may have heard of them. Or you may have seen them flying directly at your ball sack that only has a single ball. What, did you get a half? Did you get a 50% off vasectomy? Or... Right. Uh-oh. save because I don't know if there's something like a kill zone here. Yep, I was unlucky. I jumped with it. Alright, so... Here we are, the Godark Slayer. We're chasing a beast that is also chasing us down. It is probably, like, my favorite chapter in Zen. I wonder when uh, Focal Point for Black Mesa Blue Shift is going to come out. Probably not for a while because of, you know, the fact that it's Zen. And Zenian levels take so long because... Ooh, Dynamite! These are fire-sensitive things. I don't know, but if you give them damage, they'll burn. So, that's it. Fire burn. Hey, it's extinguished. Uh oh. Listen closely, people. I sense there is a Godark near.
But yeah, that's what I really like about the Goan arc, is not only are you, like, trying to hunt it down and kill it, it's also doing the same to you. Also, back away from that thing. I don't know if there's flammability on it. If you brought that, uh, gas canister with you, you could bring it through this teleporter, but I didn't, because I'm a fool. I need to see this. Oh, there's a cave. Like that, uh... Aperture Science Guy, Cave Lemon Johnson. He really didn't like lemons. Tragic, but informative. Or s so I'm told. I see her. Be cautious, people. I can't see. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Oh. I know it's up here somewhere. Right. Fuck. They're chasing us down, people. Us. Like, you take turns chasing the... You take turns chasing the, um... The, the Godark and getting chased by the Godark. I'm lucky to have long fall on. Or long jump on. Uh oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Geometry of Zen is not my friend. But yeah, right after this, I'll shut off the video and get to work or some shit. I don't know. Oh, you don't go up there? Oh, you do go up there? Okay. Sadly, you can't really jump on sloped surfaces. That's really stupid. Source engine, fuck you. There you are. Wait, I need to know what to do. I need to see where I'm going. Uh...
fire rockets at it until it just gets mad and retreats. Oh my god, you're damage sensitive, right? Okay, yeah, I have to go upstairs and burn myself. Maybe catch the thing on fire by being on fire. Well, they didn't say that I didn't get a degree in theoretical physics, did I? Die. I like how he points the revolver up when he runs. I didn't even shoot that time. Oh, God, she's right next to me. Where? Oh, you, right. You're dead. All right, I need to see where I'm going because somehow there is a place where I'm allowed, but I don't know where it is. Not here. Um, not with this fucking guy. What? Alright, I think I'm going to stop the video for now. This is getting a little bit unfunny.